Hey y'all, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So, what I've got here, what I'd like to share with you all today is, um, it's my, uh, Tracy Fox Creative Design Team Project. And what I want to show you are her two new digital kits. Well, let me take that back. I think one may have come out since these have, but they are new. They're like one of the last two and two and three uh, digital. She puts them out so quickly. So what we've got are faux photo slides. I don't know if that's gonna come into focus for you guys or not. Not sure. Gosh, geez, that's crazy. So, the, um, the kits are called Photo, F-A-U-X hyphen T-O, Photo, get it? <laughs> Clever, Tracy. Um, photo Slides Set 1 and Set 2. These are a little more on the vintage grungy side in their color. This is Set 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I will have the links in the description box down below to um, to her Etsy shop where you can find her digitals. I will have all her information uh, down below where you can find her everywhere on social media. I'll also have linked um, the list to the uh, design team members, their channels, so you can go over there and check them out. Okay, so this is set one. These kits are huge. I think they're 14, 15 pages. 14 pages? I'm pretty sure. And she gives you a lot. I'm going to, I hope I can explain this well enough um, as to what they are. So she gives you a page of the full size slides. So basically, you just, you cut them out. And, um,. You fold them over, and boom, you got a photo slide. So there's that. So that's our plain ones, just the plain backgrounds, trimmed in red, the little um, multi-chrome transparency lab processed is what she has on there. I'm very sorry, guys, if this is not in focus. Um... One of the programs I use, it, it just clicks, clicks, and clicks. It it goes in and out so much. It's just, to me, it's not even worth trying to use. And then she has the page of the full size with the stamping. Um, Tracy also did a video where... Um, she is where she got the inspiration for this digital, these digitals from, where she took uh, a few, you know, real, if you want to call them, old slides, and uh, stamped them up and played with them, and they turned out beautifully, and I think everyone went crazy over them. So, she decided to do the digitals. So, in this page, she um, has already done the stamping for you in the background. As you can see on this side, it's the same slide, except they're decorated up for you already. Okay. And then, she has this page, which is the full size slides, but she has the decorative inserts. So, if you don't have access to acetate or transparencies for printing on, then this gives you a little background in there to um, add to or create on. This is my interpretation um, of what she's meant for these pages. Um, and here, again, are your pre-stamped, pre-decorated with the inserts, full size. So basically, you could fold these over, glue them down, and boom, there you go. 
in this last sheet, you have the option of doing your own stamping. So she's basically provided an option for everyone. Um, for those who don't have a lot of stamps, she's provided the stamped bases. For those of you who don't have access to acetate or transparency, she provides a little insert already there. So these kits are fabulous. And here, you can see are the plain sides with the inserts. And if you don't have access to die cuts or cutouts, um, she's put them on there for you. So again, you have any of the cutouts. If you don't want a fussy cut, then they're placed on there for you. If you have stamps, these are the plain bases, so you can stamp on them. And then here, this page has it all. <laughs> it has it all. It has your stamped base. It has your insert. And it has your fussy cut already on it. Boom. There you literally cut out that slide, fold it in half, and you've got a photo slide ready to go. And on this sheet, here she just provides you the same options, just on a smaller scale. Same options as we go through again same options smaller scale fantastic I'm telling you guys and I know some of may look upside down but it just depends on because you fold them over you know and glue them together the cutouts have to be going all different directions and then here is the page that she's provided you for transparencies to insert. Um, if you have access to acetate or transparency sheets, you print these out, you cut them out, and you insert them in between your slides. Look at the, the writing. That's fantastic. I love the script back behind that. And then over here... She has just the mushrooms with, you know, the plain background. So that's your transparency acetate sheet. And then here are the little cluster bases. Um, she call these cluster bases. Yes. Um, so if you don't use the slides with these, these cluster, you know, you know to build your clusters on attached to your photo slide beautiful and then here we have a sheet of toadstool cutouts die cuts if you do have access to it y'all let me tell you a month ago okay I've owned a Cricut maker probably a year and a half and I've used it here and there. And one day I turned it all back on to use after, say, maybe two or three months. And I had forgotten everything. Totally forgotten everything. So um, I remembered that Tracy had done actually a couple of videos on your fussy cutting machines. Like your crickets and your, your you know, your fussy cutting machines. She had done two videos. So I said, you know, let me go over there. And uh, take another look at that video because I remember I looked at it at the first time, but I remember just grabbing what I needed to get started and going. I didn't watch it all the way through. So this time I watched it all the way through. Uh, I got my machine calibrated. I knew nothing about that. You know, that comes from just not reading your manual. <laughs> Guys, they make the manuals for a reason. Read them. So, um, so anyway, long story short, I went back through her video, got my machine calibrated, 
got everything set up, and I I posted a picture, I think in the face the um, Foxy Crafters Facebook group. I did. I spent an entire day fussy cutting. Oh my word! I had so much fun. I did. Look at this, you guys. I did florals. Um, these are just my florals, I think, here. Look at this. Look at that. So I am set, and they're fabulous. I will never fussy cut again. I will never fussy cut again, unless it's an emergency, and I have to have something right away. But I did my florals, and then she had a couple of mushroom, or excuse me, toad school, toadstools. She calls them toadstools. Look, I got all that done. All, pff, look, I'm set. I am set. All I've got left to do now are some birds. But if you have a Cricut or any type of paper cutting machine like that, I encourage you, please go over, watch her video. Because if you are not utilizing your machine for fussy cutting, you are missing out and you are using, you are wasting Way too much creative time, I think, unless you just enjoy fussy cutting. And in that case, have at it. But me, no. Okay, all that to say, she then provides you with two sheets of toadstools. Oh, I was so excited that day, you guys. I fussy cut. I was a fussy cutting fool. Um, it's two sheets. And then here... She gives you the smaller cluster bases and the smaller toadstools. And if you don't want to put them all together, then she gives you the sheet where the base is decorated with the toadstool and the label. And yeah, the bases are already decorated. So, in this kit, you have it all. You have it all. It, you know, dep depending on where you are in your creative journey, whether you're limited on stamps, whether you're limited on a printer, whether just, you know, it's all here. All that you need is in this kit to make these slides. And it's fantastic. Fantastic. Now... Let's look at kit two very quickly. This is the kit I'm going to play with because this is my favorite. Yep, this one's my favorite. I love the other one too. I really do. I want to start. I want to play with this one. I'm excited to play with this one. So again, you have, I'm just going to breeze through this very quickly. You have your plane. Oops, that's upside down. And then you have your, um, your photo slides, which are stamped up. If you don't have access to transparencies, here are slides with inserts. Here are slides with inserts that are stamped up. Oh, this is my favorite part. And then here are the photo slides with the inserts that are stamped, and they have the people. Our vintage people, our paper dolls. Love it. And again, the same thing here on the um, fo the photo slide that is not stamped up. It has the insert. And then we here we have the smaller scale slides. Smaller scale with insert deck uh, stamped and not stamped. Smaller scale slides with the inserts, decorated, stamped with people, not stamped with people. And then she gives you a page here of the trans for the transparencies that you could print out and put in between your photo slide. Again, we have cluster bases. It's basically the same as kit one. Oh, look. I, this is fantastic how she did these. So basically, I'll show you. I have a few already cut out here that I did on my Cricut. Um, they're already attached. 
So you just fold them over and line them up. And then you have your front and your back. Clever, that fox. She is a clever fox. Yes, she is. So then we have, oops, boy, I've just got the sheets all turned around on this one. Um, more of our vintage photos. And then again, the smaller scale of your cluster bases and your vintage people. More cluster bases that are decorated um, with the people. Oh, was there another one? Oh, that's it. Okay, because I was thinking there was one more, but the people took place of the mushrooms. So that's it. That's the end of set two. Fantastic. Fab job, Tracy. And guys, I, I printed... Um, I try to recycle my paper, um, especially my, um, my presentation paper, um, especially if I'm going to be showing digitals, I want the best quality, the color or the print to show up. Um, and these are printed actually where I printed out the foxy rags. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. Let's get started on this one. I want to play with this one. This is kit two. The photo slide set, sorry, set two. Again, the, the links to the, all the links, all the information will be in the description box down below. Okay. So, I cut out my slides that I wanted to play with. See what I'm saying? If you put that on your machine to cut out, you don't have to. This I would have had to have done with an X-Acto knife. Way too much time, in my opinion. And, y'all, I'm just telling you. If you are not using your machine to that uh, potential, you are missing out. All right. So, over here, I'm going to show you. I went ahead and cut out my people because though that's what I want to play with and I started with the plain um or the unstamped photo slide basis because I want to do some stamping and I did print out a few transparencies I'm not sure if I will use them this time around we'll just see but I did want to go ahead let me put them on here so you can see them. I did go ahead and print them out. Guys, sorry for this board. I'm how grungy this board is. I'm getting ready to put up here. But it's what I have to show you guys. <laughs> put something on to lift up and show you. So here we have the transparencies with the script writing in the back. And then you have a strip of the plane. I love them. I absolutely love this kit. Okay, so just, uh, um, oh, and I had one more. So just kind of, to kind of go over the list um, of what I'm going to be using, I do have some of my favorite stamps out here. I don't know if I'll be using, I liked these numbers down here, which is why I pulled this set out. Um, I just love, love everything about the eccentric. This is the eccentric um, stamp set, CMS 448. And then my all-time favorite field notes, CMS 396. And this one here is called Moth Study, CMS 436. This is a new one to me. It's not a new set, but it's new to me. And, um, yeah, you can see I've only literally used two stamps on it. So I have these over here to the side to use for my stamping. I have on this block, this is a script stamp. It's my favorite. I don't even pull it off the block. It stays on this block. Um, so I have that over here to use. And then this one, also one of my favorites. Both of these are from... Um, a set of Tim Holtz. This is from a... Oh, I can't remember. 
I can't remember which ones they're from, but this too is one of my favorites. It stays permanently on a block. <laughs> and at my right hand, um, or left hand, because I'm left-handed, then I have, not sure if I will use these, but um, now you guys, I cut these out before I got my Cricut going, okay? And that took forever. And it was, I did an okay job, but it could have been a better job. So, next, like I said, next on my list to get to cutting on the machine are the birds. The birds. And I've just got some old, not old, well, some of her past kits. You know, the entomology labels, large and small, some stuff from her tag fabrication, um, digitals, just Tracy. Um, little doodahs. And then I also pulled out eyelets and um, eyelets because I like to use those on my slides as well. And I've got my crocodile. And also what I want to use for these folks here, I would like to put the Tim Holtz Distress Frosted Crystal on them to give them more of a matte, um, a matte look. You'll, you'll see. If you've not used this before, this stuff is fantastic. Once you use it, it will be one of your all-time favorite mediums. It was with me. And you just use uh, embossing, uh, shoot, embossing dauber. Because <laughs> that's what's going to adhere the Frosted Crystal. So, um, let's start, oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start, and then I also have here, um, just a small tin of some smaller labels, um, these are curator snippets and number strips, I've got Tracy's somewhere, I think they're in a, um, an ephemera bag over on my stand because I have all those labels cut out. All those I did by hand. Oh my goodness, when I think about that now. And then here I've just got some metals. I may add a few clips um, or eyelets, whichever. And then for stamping, I have pulled out my archival inks in red geranium, jet black, and olive. I think she used a blue, um, but I thought I'd like the green on the brown, so I pulled out the olive. I may end up using, oh, you know what, I should probably have pulled out another brown, but it's okay. We'll work with what we've got here. All right, so what I wanted to start with first. Maybe we should just stamp the base. I was going to do, y'all, this is going to be such a long video. And I'm not very good at editing, so they tend to go as long as the real thing. So let's get started. All right. Let's just pull out some stamps. First of all, of course, I'm just going to let me pull out a piece of paper here to stamp on. I'm just going to put some spots, just kind of, because I love them. I'm going to set that aside up there. Oh, I love that. I love the way that looks. I think she actually filled in with this stamp. I don't think it matters in which order. Um, she probably thought it through. Um, that's good. Let's just do a couple here because I know that um, I want to get something finished. So let's just do a couple. probably going overboard with it but I love I love this stamp stamp that off ok 
Okay. Now, um, just because I've got the script out here, I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, let's see, do I want to do this in red or I think I want to save the numbers to do in red. So let's set this aside. Let's pull out another block. And let's see, let's do, we have to find something that's on the thin side. I like this one. So I'm going to stamp this in red. Oh, yummy. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? There we go. Set that to the side. I should have stuck to putting these on the side since that area it's a more narrow, narrower area. This is a narrow stamp. <laughs> so let's do that. Stamp those up, okay. And now let's see what else. Um, I like like this one. I know I'm off to the side here, but I'm going to show you. I like this one. Tag number. Mm, let's do that one in green. That's kind of on the narrow side too, but we're just going to go up here with it. Oh, yes. Now I'm wondering if I need to turn this around because it is directional. And guys, once we get these decorated up, so much of this is going to be covered. So, you know, it's not a whole lot to stress about. Can't believe I'm saying that. I am the pro stressor, the pro overthinker I am. <laughs> okay, there's that. Oh, we got one more, one more. Put that in here. Turn it around. Let me do one in here. Oh, I have been itching to play with this kit. I've had um, had so much going on that um, I've, I've had to keep putting it off, and I hate that I had to do that, but I'm sitting down playing now, so that's all that matters, and we're going to get her done. Okay, so there we have those. I would like more. <laughs> I do want more. So, let's go with, I'm thinking, oh, come on, Michelle, just pick one. Just pick one. I'm not sure if I want that one or something a little larger. And see, I didn't even, um, I didn't even pull out the number ones that I wanted to do. Um, how about this one? We'll see. We'll see which one I want to do. Let's go back to the side. Okay. Sorry for the squeaky chair. So this is black. We're going to stamp up black now. Go 
over here and do see now I can see where I put the little splatter marks now I can see why she used it to just fill in because um, it's kind of mixing right there that probably would have looked better if I had done the number and then the splatter around it so yes she obviously thought that through all right now let's go with this one and again I'm just gonna go with the black I'm gonna go over here where it's a little plain I'm going to turn this one around and go up here. And then on this one, see again, that would have been a perfect spot. Here, I might just try and get the number on there. Yeah, that looks good. This needs something over here, too. Um, but for the sake of um, getting a couple done on camera, I'm just going to do it. Yep, I'm just going to do it. All right. I think we've done a pretty good job getting those stamped up. Now that I think about it, there is one stamp that I wanted to use and I didn't pull it out. But it's the stamp with um, the three stars across it. Um, I never think of using it until I've already pulled all my inks and my stamps out. So, so much for that. Okay, I'm going to set these to the side and out of the way. Make some room here. Keep all that together. Alrighty. Now, at this point, um, I can see there's a little bit of white on that edge right there, but it's okay. That's not anything that um, a little ink won't fix. It's okay, guys. Excuse me just a second. I'm looking for my mini... My mini scoreboard and of course it's not there so I'll just pull out my larger one and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm horrible at folding over even I know this is this seems crazy to do this when um, all you have to do is fold it but I tell you what nine times out of ten and it may still end up crooked it's not going to line up if i just try and fold it so i'm just going to try and get that in the center that's what i have this little mark for here and just do a little score that way it gets it going see yes otherwise i'd have messed it up I can guarantee you I would have messed it up. So I do it just to get a little fold going. And it makes my life easier. I know it seems like an extra step, but it makes my life easier. Okay. And less stressful. Alrighty. So here's what we have. I hope you guys can see this. I wonder if I ought to bring you down a little bit. Should I bring you down a little bit? Maybe just a little bit. So you can see a little better. There we go. Yes, that's much better. Okay. All right. So I feel like um, these bases are done. What I want to do is in one of them I want to do the transparency. Definitely. Definitely want to do the transparency in one of them. 
And then I want to do one in um, with the people. So I'll likely do one in transparency and see, she even did, wow, see, she even did a few in portrait. Oh, hold on, let me get that board so you can see it. What did I do with the board? She did one of them in portrait um, orientation. Isn't that cool? So yes, okay, I'm going to do one in portrait. That's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to trim this out here and make sure. Um, with transparencies, I think she used glue. I'm going to go a little above that because I want to make sure it's going to clear to adhere to the frame. Um, I tend to use double-sided tape, but I want to sew around these, so I'm going to have to use glue, because you don't want to um, sew into double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and oh come on please work for me thank you I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way around just because when I glue this down it's going to be done then I'm going to place that there as evenly as I can. Doesn't look like it's totally straight, but it is what it is because this glue sets rather quickly. I'm going to put a little more just around her. I'm going to put a piece of glue. Oh my goodness, I love it. And there that is, look. Oh my gosh. I love it, I absolutely love it. And I probably should have inked around that inside. And it looks perfectly fine, both sides. And I forgot. So, I do want to try and get rid of that white edge there and see it's um, not all the way down, but like I said, I'm going to be sewing on this, so that's okay. And I am using Walnut Stain in the Distress Ink. Yeah, I should have, um, oh well, I should have inked around that inside, but it's okay. Okay, so that's one done. Let's pick out another one so we could use it, um, landscape. And I want, we'll, we're going to go ahead and use this little girl right here. I'm going to cut that, trim it out. Hopefully as straight as possible. Give myself a little bit of an edge on that side. Okay. And then... Oh, I love her. Then we're going to glue this down. Get it as close as we can. Close that up. That's when you start to have issues. Go 
down a little bit because I want to see more of her height. Okay, we can fold that over. Oh, where's my own folder? There we go. We'll burnish that down as best we can. And there she is. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh my gosh. And again, oh, that's what I mean by getting glue too close to the edge because glue just got on the transparency. It's supposed to dry clear. Let's hope so. If not, you know what? It's okay. So I'm just going to, yeah, probably overloaded the glue on that especially if I'm going to be um, sewing around it so I would recommend that you use your glue sparingly just um, you know enough to get it tacked down if you're going to be sewing oh my transparency sticking out on the side there so let me trim that off that up and again like I said <laughs> I forgot to ink the inside oh the pressure of filming oh my goodness so there she is love that now what I wanted to do with this one let's close that ink up what I wanted to do with this one because I wanted to try the frosted crystal. Let's go ahead and ink this up right now while we're thinking about it. <laughs> so I don't forget. Oh, I can only get up in there. Sorry guys, I was just working off camera because I was trying to see. Just try and get it in there the best you can probably use a brush but and then I'll uh, you know what I'll go ahead and do around the insides that way I should have that covered if any white shows through we'll see Probably wouldn't have hurt to do it all the way around. Okay, good enough. Okay. Yes. Looks much better. Okay, so on this one, oh, and I just inked up my whiteboard. Oh, well. On this one, I don't where she I love her face. Look at her face. <laughs> Look at her face, will you? Okay, let's do a gentleman. Because the other two were ladies. Let's do a gentleman. So, let me think about this a second. So I think, for what I'm wanting to do, um, I'm wanting to add him on. So... She'd wrap them around like so. Yes. So let's go ahead and close up the um the photo slide. Sorry guys, I just got quiet there. I have no idea how long I've been going. So let's burnish that down. Okay. We're going to set these over here. We're still going to do a little bit more to those, but I want to get all the paper parts together. 
and then we'll um, we'll do some decorating, a little more decorating. Here, okay, I can't put him together yet because I have to wrap him around. So let's go ahead and do the um, the frosty crystal. I'm sorry, guys, I gotta grab a sheet, another sheet of paper over here. Um, and we're going to get him covered with our embossing ink. I want it, I want good coverage, so I want to make sure it's nice and gooey. Okay. And then we're going to set him down here on the clean sheet of paper. Set the stuff to the side. And then where's here's my embossing glaze. Not embossing glaze. Frosty crystal. And we're just going to give him a good coating. I don't know why this stuff likes to come out all or nothing, but it does. I'll grab my tweezers. They're here somewhere. Wow, guys, I should have had all this ready to go. Oh my, where are my tweezers? Um, here they are. Okay. And we're going to just find a tip of him and just kind of tap him off a little bit. I'm going to put this back in the jar. Yes, you want to make sure you get this put away before you turn on that embossing gun. <laughs> You'll have stuff everywhere. Okay. Turn this on for a second. I'm hoping my mic will cancel that noise out. And then I'm going to hold it away from my mat because it will cause your mat to bubble. So I don't know if you can see this changing. See it changing? Ooh. Ouch, it's a little warm. So don't stick your finger under there. It doesn't take it a whole lot. Let's see a corner that didn't get heat. Okay. And there's that. Let's stack him up a little bit more gently. There we go. Well, he's got a little something stuck on him right there, but good luck. I don't know if you can see how he's got like a a textured. See if you can see the difference there. it. I love it. Love that stuff. Okay, so that feels good. So now what my plan was, <laughs> I'll fiddle fingers here. Oh, I didn't want to cover up. Oh, I can move him up a little bit. No one says I can't. So in this case, you have to line him up about, I think that's about where I would like him. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to hold that there. <laughs> Put some glue on him. Gonna 
pull them down. Sorry if my head's in there, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to get them lined up there. Okay. Oh. Shoot. Okay. Then over here, I'm just going to slide, slide some glue up under on the, the slide. Where glue didn't catch. Get them lined up as best I can. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Amazing. And then this is hanging over, is that hanging over the side a little bit? I could trim that up if I need to, but I don't think it's a really big deal. So, there is that. And I'm looking over here at, um, at my machine. And I should have checked it beforehand. Um, but oh, I, I have my beige thread in there. And I really wanted to use black. Okay, so just looking at these. Um, I don't know that I want to put any labels. I certainly can. Number labels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do. Let's do a label. Let's do a label. I wasn't going to, going to, but I changed my mind. This is just to give you guys a little inspiration. Um... on how to use the digitals or just another idea on how to use the digitals let's find another one Ooh. that's from um, another project that I did using the 49er market film strips Upside down. And yeah, looks like I did. I put her in upside down on that one. <laughs> Everything's upside down on it. So let's do this. Let's, um, I'm just going to, um, Try and cover this up just because it's upside down and just gonna put that up there to camouflage camouflage it just a little bit and then maybe one more down here yeah just do this another small one down here because I did put her in upside down and then on this gentleman over here oh let's see I'm gonna put a little blue on him because I still want um, room Nope, I don't want that on that side because there's nothing for it to stick 
too because there's nothing in the center. So let's just put that on the pen right there. Alrighty. Wow, this is going to be an hour video. And I guess it just, um, that's where editing really comes into play. And I really need to get on the ball and learn how to do it. Because then my videos wouldn't be so long. So, I want to use some eyelets. Not to necessarily um, put anything... Um, you can have something dangle from them if you like. I just like the way it looks, the aesthetic. So I tend to just add eyelets to add, you know, just because I like it. Oh, I think I just used the wrong size there. So let's go a little bigger. Thought I had the smaller eyelets. So we're going to put that in there. Yeah. And then switch this back. These are 3 16 eyelets, I believe. I had the hardest time um, finding them. They, they were either the larger ones or the smaller ones. But these are what they call standard. So there we go. Look at that. Fantastic. And let's see. What do we want to put in here? Let's do... Let's do one of those. Or do I want to use... No, let's use this one. Yeah. So we're going to put one on her as well. Just going to punch it. And you can hang dangles. I mean, you can um, hook a bow pin to it with a charm. I just love the eyelet. I mean, just like it is. I love the eyelet. Now on her, we're going to do something different. Get those out of the way. On her, let's... I've got two, di two different types of clip that I can use. I can use that one. Let me see, that might be too big. That might look too big. Let's see. Hmm. I like it. Let's keep that there. I was going to use a smaller clip, but I think I'm going to use that, keep that there, and that's the Tim Holtz um, uh, Metal Index clip, I think. I'm not sure. I think that's what it's called. But... There we go. There are our three different types of photo sides. We've got the gentleman with the open insert there. And we've got the little girl here. I want to keep them on the paper so you can see them. And then, of course, these were using um, the film strip pages. And for you know, putting them on, bring them on transparencies, and there she is in portrait. So there's our project. I love them. I cannot wait to finish up the others that I have cut out here, and then I'm going to start playing with set one or kit one. No, set one. So. That's our project, everyone. Thank you so much. If you're still here hanging with me, likely, ah, one hour and 15 seconds. So, my apologies for it being so long. I've really got to learn how to edit. I'm going to get on that the more videos that I do. But, um, 
that's it. This is our, um, this is my design team project for Tracy Fox for this month. And um, I'll put all the links in the description box below. Go check out her Etsy and um, get you some digis. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.